Well, hi there, Capricorn. Welcome to your channel intuitive forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. As we expand on the energies of September, here's your forecast for the 16th through the 30th. We're just going to, it is a general reading. So uh, take what resonates, leave the rest for everyone else as we pull down some foundational cards. And there we go. Not exactly what I expected, but you know, let's see what we have here. A lot more than, than we normally pull, but you know what? We're going to allow that to come right out here. All right. Okay. All right, Spirit Sing. Do this, do this, do this. Let's do that. Let's fit them on the screen. Let's see what we have here. And let's start with this Ten of Fire. The Ten of Fire... You know, it's about release. It's about going to um, Dollar Dollar Tree, getting a dollar notebook, and allowing yourself to um, write down the situation, release what no longer serves you, making, you know, releasing some of that negative, um, those past hurts, those negative energies, and moving forward in a positive way. Okay, you're opening yourself up. You're letting go of, you know, maybe somebody was a dirty stinker and they kept, and it is still, you know, maybe you felt like they stolen your time, your energy, your money, but they're still stealing your time if you keep it in your space. No one says you have to be with this person anymore or contact them, but write down the situation, write down how they made you feel. Then on the back, for, write down, I forgive you for being a stinker. But I forgive myself for holding on to this too long. I've learned this. I've learned that. And this way you can create um, and, and find on Google or YouTube a release ceremony to release that. All right. Then we have, you know, and we have the three of air. And the three of air is the silver lining. It's the nat natural departure. Okay. Naturally departing and letting go of this to see the truth. And the truth of this might be, hey, I held on to this too long. I was too giving. I was too this. I was too that. Whatever it is. And this is what I've learned from it. And learn. And the lessons should be something that is a positive, patty energy, not a negative Nancy. I've learned more discernment. Not I've learned never to trust anybody, but I've learned more discernment. I've learned what is and isn't acceptable for me and what I will and do and do not deserve. See where I'm going there? I hope you can. You know, because if you can, boy, you're you're going to be in really good shape. You know, again, lots of lots and lots of cards for you for this for the for the half, second half of the month. Okay. So then we have the 8 of water and the 8 of water is about a this um, a journey of discovery, letting go of some of the superficial and getting the deep and finding out and seeking a deeper meaning and greater authenticity, all right, behind, above, you know, above that superficial. So you see where we're going here, right? You see where the, the pattern is, what you're, what you're able to accomplish. And this is going to happen at the end, of, towards the last half of September, and it certainly can carry over into that September end of month retrograde, uh, Mercury retrograde that's happening. Now, when you do that, what's going to happen and what's going to open up for you? Well, you've got the fool and the magician. And the fool is about regaining that enthusiasm for your life, that journey, that giddiness, that childlike excitement over the little things. And once you have that enthusiasm, that is a positive patty energy. Earth B, as I call it. Enthusiasm is great when you when you want to manifest. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you so you're moving yourself into an exciting period, you're be, becoming more enthusiastic and manifestation, this alchemy, this I have all the tools at my disposal to do whatever I need to do is going to be easy. This is Merlin, the magician. He can do anything. He can create anything. You can create anything. You have the power, 
you know. And then we have the Seven of Earth. And, you know, I don't normally pull this card. It's such a gorgeous card. Look at this guy. Hmm. Yeah, I would go out with him. Uh, this is about opening up to new strategies. And, and you know, you've been at the crossword, cross road. And, you know, a decision is to be made here. And, you know, you reflect on your progress. You reflect on some of these things as you're letting them go. You know, what's right for you, what's not right for you. It's time for you to move forward. And you are moving forward. You're move, moving forward in a big, big way. All right, let me get these over here. All right, so I'm moving those over so that we can get some clarification from the smallest deck in the world. Spirit, and not 100 cards, please. Maybe, you know, a handful. Thanks. Whoops. A handful. You hear me? <laughs> not the whole deck. Fine. Okay, let's see what we got. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do that. Alrighty. Everything tells a story. So, maybe there's a reason why we had to have all these cards here. It's been a struggle for you. Um, a struggle for you... Uh, and let's call it emotionally. It could be. It could have manifested into, into um, a physical struggle, uh, you know, health-wise and and uh, monetarily. But it all starts emotionally. Um, remember, we were dealing with all these past hurts and all that that you've been holding on to, and it's been a big struggle for you. And it's been something that has kept you up at night. Or woken you up in the middle of the night and you wake up and you've got that anxiety and that tightness in your chest and you know that manifests itself as like digestive issues IBS or diarrhea or constipation um, and yeah you, you know you've taking this time uh, you're taking this time to rest regroup release release rest regroup the three R's okay and I see that you've been patient you know, you've been patient about what's coming. Um, you've been patient about <sighs> keeping those words closer to the vest. You know, not, you know, I call it having a filter. I wouldn't know. I don't have one. But having a filter <laughs> in order to save um, people's feelings um and but moving now you're moving 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 into a direction where you're expanding you're expanding yourself you're you you are expanding as a as a spiritual being having an earthly experience you are expanding you're not allowing that negative nancy energy i earth a i call earth a energy impact you you're moving into that positive patty energy territory, which is Earth B. Peace, love, joy, bliss, appreciation, enthusiasm. Okay, enthusiasm for life again. And with that, great spiritual, great expansion of oneself. Uh, somebody's spirit is also saying it's going to spark you to expand the home, make it more, you know, body, uh, home beautify, home beautiful. Really great opportunities for you to shine here. Big opportunities to shine. If you would like, you can shine. All right. Speaking of shining, we have the sun. And the sun is shining on you. The end of this month. This is about success in all aspects of your life. This is about making that home the dream home. It's also about your working, uh, your relationships, more peace, more harmony, especially the relationship you have to yourself, because you are the most important person in your life. You cannot help, you know, that old saying before COVID, you know, put your mask on before helping others. Well, you have to put your mask on. You have to take care of you first before you can be a hundred percent for everyone else. We know that you can do this, okay? 
We believe in you. Now it's time for you to believe in you. Work on that solar plexus chakra. That's the self-esteem. Work on the back of the heart chakra, your feelings of worthiness and what I what you deserve. And you're learning that discernment. You're letting go of those past things that are keeping you from moving forward. And you're moving into something that is successful monetarily, successful for you emotionally. So very abundant for you. All right, kids, that's all I've got. Thanks again for your likes and subscribes. Enjoy the rest of September. Thanks for hitting that little teensy little button right down there. And subscribing to the channel. New content every week. We'll see you next time. Take care.